Hey everyone, I hope you're having a great day, staying safe. So now I'm going to be reviewing these Digit Now headphones, which I got because my other headphones were super heavy and giving me a really, really bad neck pain. So this is what you get in the box. This little bag, it does feel a bit flimsy if you look at the stitching itself but never mind it does the job a usb no us c lead which i guess is a bit cheap looking so i use a better one than that you get three of these here bad things which you get large, medium, and small. And you also got this in the box, which is a bit cheaply made. It will do the job of protecting what you have in it. So hopefully it does. So these are the earbuds themselves and that's a better look at the actual charge case itself. So there are a lot of problems I've found with these and unlike other YouTubers I'm going to list the problems and not try and sell you these headphones. And these problems to me are big enough to say no chance in hell I would buy them again. So keep watching and you'll find out why I don't like these. And everything that is bad with these Digit Now earbuds. So... First off, it's important to ch be able to charge and know that these are charged. And with these, I've had a few issues where these are not even charged at all. I've had to wait another two hours on top just to charge them. So not good when they work they work but an extra two hours not worth the wait so and there was a lot of charging problems with this as well as this only indicates that it's charging nothing more and this one will tell you how much power is in here not these so that will be a bit annoying but for these they're cheap feel this actually feels like it's going to break every time I use them. And I've had ear pains for weeks from using these. As my review is not one day or two days, it's been 17 plus days of using these and I 100% say it they are a nightmare especially when this one will charge an hour longer than this one so you have to put up with battery low battery low for 20 minutes then an hour 
we have one headphone in so that's annoying and you have to make sure they're fully charged when you're going out so that's a really really bad sign if you're having to wait on the charge especially if you're in a hurry so don't ever look at headphones and think oh a cheap pair will do get a name brand mpal sony or something that is good so here are my ratings i'm giving for volume a five because it doesn't play go to the right volume that i want i want it really low and once you go too low it turns the volume off so that's not good at all they do have like a max low level and there's like 2% of your bar that shows your volume going unused. So the in-ear monitor... Uh, so the control volume of the on off feature that tells you when they're powering down or something like that is very very loud so i've given it a free because it's literally made me jump multiple times and it is no fun so because of the problems with the battery case itself i've given the battery case a rating of five so the controls on the device itself i've given that a free as volume should be fast and not skip as you can hold down a button to skip but, but with the volume, I'd rather push volume down a single time. But you have to hold it down and that is harder to do as it doesn't really help if you only want it turned down one little bit so bluetooth is a bit touchy at times very awkward and a little skippy or jumpy or stuttering whichever you want to say so i give that a five and for walking around the house it cuts it in and out if you're too far away from the device so that is a nightmare so i rated that a five so i've rated this a five because they do go out of sync they do need to be put back in the box if that happens and you gotta take them out of the ears and back in and that is annoying to have to do constantly so i wasn't happy with having to do that every time there was an issue with the sound the pairing and the setup was a bit of a nightmare it would kind of disconnect reconnect disconnect reconnect and so on so, and that would get very annoying so i've given that a five for pairing and setup so I'm being generous with this seven for sound
and it does cut in and out so it gets a bit annoying as that's why I won't rate that any higher the build quality I think will not last more than six months and the fit itself this is after 17 days of using them I've rated it a three because they do slip out now and I don't want to pick them up off the floor so I only really use them while sitting down at the moment or walking around the house noise cancelling that's one of the selling points to me it was and while they do cancel out some noise they do not really block all noise out so if you're in a quiet room it will block the sound out if you're in a loud room you're gonna not hear what you're listening to as well so a big one for me calls and microphone as I use my headsets for live streams and of course there is a clip from a live stream and one of the things that really annoyed me about these headphones was this person said the microphone was incredible and unbelievable and as you can hear there's a lot of crackling in this clip if I'm being honest, and I'm going to put this that into the video, and um, because honestly, I felt the same with them as you've just said that there is a crackling issue. Which I'm actually going to switch back over to my webcam. and hopefully that's better because it's pretty much what i wanted to find out anyway because i know what i was hearing and i felt that it wasn't good enough but i just needed a second opinion on that so i was talking to a friend and he said it sounds like you're using a 1980s phone for this call and that is pretty bad so i've rated the microphone and calls a free actually both me and my friend rated a free just to be friendly to the headphones so my overall rating is six out of ten because i am really unhappy with these headphones like i've said before go and buy Empower or Sony or another named brand that will do the job even better so I'm gonna put this list up at the end of the video because I know full well my voice is going at times as I'm not 100% well but well, I really want to make this video so 
there's a readable version of it at least so thanks for watching have a great day stay safe and i will see you all again next time